Hey, so I'm really excited to let you know about some updates to the virtual classroom that we have just released this week. I do want to take a moment here to thank all of our users. Many of these features have been requested directly by our great community of teachers. And your feedback has really allowed us to develop and grow to where we are today. Right, first of all, users can now access the class chat during their equipment checks. This means you'll be much better able to help your students if they have any difficulty logging in. When we enter the class, you'll see we now have these two new buttons on the bottom right of the screen. Uh, I still have the old button up here, but if I click down here, I can access the Add Materials menu. If I click on the Upload button, I can drag and drop files from my computer directly into the upload window. I can also upload multiple images or multiple files at the same time. In the YouTube option, I can now search just like on YouTube itself and see little thumbnails of the videos. If I click on one, I can see a preview and make sure it's the right video that I want to upload into my class. Uh, down here again, I have the option to go full screen and also a whiteboard cam. This allows me to use my webcam or for example, another external webcam or camera if you have one uh, as a full whiteboard. Great as a document cam or for practical demonstrations. Um, I also have my screen share button down here, which works just the same as before, but now it can be accessed more easily, particularly on a mobile device or a tablet. Uh, whiteboard tabs can now be renamed. Just double click on the tab and when you're done, press enter or return. The whiteboard can also be refreshed. Now this is a really useful tool uh, for if your student's whiteboard goes out of sync. This can happen sometimes due to connection issues. Uh, now you can refresh the page, including your annotations and not have to close the page and lose everything when you open it again. And uh, now this next one was really requested a lot. When the teacher is typing on the whiteboard, the student can now see what they're typing. So you can follow what's happening in real time. We've got a new line tool you can see here and a new star shape. We've also improved how these tick and little X marks work. They're now like little stampers, which is super useful. Last but not least, we finally have an undo button. This has been one of your most common requests and I'm delighted to be revealing it to you here. You and your students can now hit Control Z on Windows or Command Z on Mac and undo up to 10 steps back. So I hope you enjoy playing around with the new features as much as I have. Again, thank you for your continued support and happy teaching.